Hello there. This is MD here with you on everything PS. Here we go again. We are in a new tutorial. In this Photoshop tutorial. I am gonna talk about. Work with brushes. In Adobe Photoshop. If you are interested. Stay tuned. In this video. We'll go over some basics. About Photoshop's brush style tools. If you're following along. Open this image. Which you can download from the links down below. In the description box. There are several tools. Other than just the brush tool. That use brush tips. For example. The clone stamp tool. The eraser tool. The dodge tool. And more. So even if you don't do illustration in Photoshop. This video is relevant for you. One thing those tools have in common is they have a brush picker in their options bar. Where you go to choose the brush tip and set its size and hardness for the tool. So let's take a minute to go over what the brush pickers offer. Let's select the brush tool. And then let's go up to the options bar and click on the icon that looks like a brush tip that opens this window called the brush picker. In the brush picker, you can choose a shape of tool. And there are many to choose from. Everything from a leaf shape. To a grass shape. To a round shape. I'm gonna click on one of the round shapes here. And you can vary the size and the hardness of the brush. Let's see what a hard brush looks like. I'm moving to the image. And I happen to have a white color swatch selected. You can use any color you like if you're following along. I'm going to click and drag. And as you can see. This brush stroke has a really hard edge. Now if I go back to the brush picker again. And I drag the hardness slider. The other way towards soft. And I drag in the image. I get a very different looking effect. Is a soft edged brush stroke. You can also. Change the size of a brush. Here in the brush picker. In other videos in this course. We introduce the idea that you don't always have to come up to the brush picker. To change brush size. It's often more efficient. To change brush size. As you're working in the image on the fly. If I move into the image. And I press the left bracket key. Which is the key just to the right of the P key on most keyboards. Each time I press. My brush tip gets smaller. By a set percentage. And then a click and drag. You can see that I have a narrow brush stroke. If I want a larger brush stroke, I'll press the right bracket key, which is just to the right of the left bracket key, on the keyboard, and each time I press, I get a larger brush stroke, so that when I click and drag, I have a very different looking effect. There are a couple of other commonly used brush options to take a look at. One, up here in the options bar is opacity. If I click on the opacity field. And I drag the opacity slider to the left. And then I painted the image. You can see through the paint to the image below. Next to the opacity field in the options bar. Is the blend mode field. These various blend modes. Control how the colors of the paint that the brush applies. Interact with colors already in the image. This is similar to layer blend modes. In the layers panel. Which we'll cover later in this course. When you're painting with a brush tool on a photograph like this. There's one blend mode you'll find particularly useful. And that's the color blend mode down here. I'm going to select that from the menu. And then I go up and I'll change the opacity back to 100%. And, I'm going to select another color in the swatches panel. But you can use any color you like. Now, when I move into the image and I paint. As you can see, the brush isn't laying down flat paint. Instead, it's applying a color tint to the flower. That lets the tonal values of the image show through. And this is very useful for changing the color of objects. In photographs. To finish this off, I'm going to go up to the file menu. And I'm going to choose revert. 
or you can use the keyboard shortcut F12, which takes the image all the way back to the way it looked at the beginning of this video. Let's select the Quick Selection tool in the Tools panel. And then move over to the Options bar. And click Select Subject. Wait a second. Then go back and get the brush to again. Moving to the image. I press the right bracket key a few times. To make your brush tip big. Then click and drag. And you don't have to be careful about where you're painting. Because of the selection. Limits the area where the paint is laid down. Finally, press Command plus D on a Mac. Or Control plus D on Windows to deselect. So that's a quick and easy way. To change the color of an image in a photograph. Using the brush tool. And the color blend mode. So that's a look at some basics. About brush style tools. Brushes and color. Are topics that go hand in hand. Next. We'll take a deeper look at choosing. And using colors. And before you leave let's remember. What did you learn today? To use tools that have brush tips. 1. In the tools panel. Select the brush tool. 2. In the options bar. Change the size and hardness of the brush. You can also select a different brush tip to change how the brush strokes look. 3. An alternative way to increase brush size is to press the right bracket key several times. 4. To decrease the brush size. Press the left bracket key several times. And here we go. We are done for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and leave your comment down below in the comments section. Also, if you are interested in Adobe After Effects, take a look at our second channel, Saskiano. See you next time and more coming videos.